What's going on Dragon Ball Z fans? We are back once again with another discussion episode for you guys here today. Today I'm going to be discussing and referencing something very interesting that I want to bring up to you guys here today. Now, uh, we've already gone through the whole Battle of Gods Resurrection F story arc leading into uh, Dragon Ball Super's, you know, possible outcomes with Champa and Whis and Beerus and whatnot. So, um, today I want to discuss something very interesting that I saw uh, a subscriber post on my one of my videos. He actually referenced the fact that what if... Uh, Shampa was able to have some sort of influence to allow to you know to help Frieza uh, reach his golden form. Now I know that may seem a little far fetched, but as of right now we don't know the real motive behind Shampa and what he's doing in Universe Six, all oh, Universe Seven, excuse me. All we know is the fact that he's looking for the Wish Orbs. So I mean, even though we don't know if he's technically good, evil, or mutual, um, wh like what do you guys believe here? Like, do you guys believe that Shampa had some sort of influence because he was seen in the manga, um, pretty much wiping out. Uh, a portion of the remnants of the Frieza army, uh, Sorbe and Togmoa, they actually, you know, saw that happening, and that's why they, I mean, at least for Dragon Ball Super standards, they go back and they try to resurrect Frieza for, the, for those purposes. Now, you know, with, with Champa being there and, you know, having his presence being felt by, you know, Togmoa and, and Sorbe, what, what are your thoughts on, you know, Champa actually having some sort of influence to help Frieza, like maybe he helped guide him into what to do, or perhaps maybe even train him himself. I understand that that may that may be way far fetched, but you know, in in a, in a four month time span of Frieza becoming stronger than Majin Buu, Goku, you know, even reaching that of a peak of a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Um, what what do you guys feel as if you know Shampa had some sort of influence on this fight or what? Sean, well, thinking back on it, I don't know if he did. You think he would have stopped Frieza before he left? Because as soon as Frieza got the ability, he decides to just go off and fight uh, Vegeta and Goku, and that's how he failed. Because he didn't master the form. Like even like in Super right now, Beerus is training Goku, like to like control his powers. Well, I I, I wouldn't say training. I would say he's mainly just like trying to like experiment with Goku just to see how far he can go and how strong he is. But the point here being is that Shampa is there for some for some purpose like an unknown you know uh an unknown reason why but he's he's there for some very specific reasons now you know being the fact that he's there uh could he have had like any sort of influence upon you know frieza um allowing him to seek out that power in which he needed to go off and destroy goku possibly maybe he just wants to mess with beerus and like like see if he his like his new trainee can beat his that's actually that, that doesn't seem too far-fetched actually if you if you really think about it all right if you want to like talk dynamics here Yes, uh, it would be as if Beerus's pupil would be Goku and Champa's pupil would be Frieza. Um, and we already know the history between Frieza and Beerus. Beerus ordered Frieza to destroy the planet, the planet Vegeta. And uh, I'm not entirely too sure if Frieza's too fond of Beerus deep down inside. I'm pretty sure he hates them on the fact that, you know, he is a god, he is superior to him and whatnot. But, uh, Paul, so, like, do you think Champa had any sort of influence to help, tr to, to help Frieza train and become you know, as strong as he was in, in Resurrection F. Well, wouldn't it have to be in a different universe? Why like, would it have to be a different universe? Why not? How, how would he come over into Universe 7 and just start trading him and then just dip? Well, did you forget about the fact that warriors can mask their power? But wouldn't Biru sense him immediately? How can he when in the manga he was masking it the entire time? Beerus can sense Shampa in the universe? Well, he can, but that's why Shampa was avoiding him the entire time. Him and that, you know, protege of his, like, female Whis, whoever, whoever that, that is, uh, they were pretty much masking their abilities and their powers. They were hiding it from Beerus. They were trying to stay as far away from him as possible. And obviously, we know that they are going to come across each other, like, in, in, in Dragon Ball Super because we saw, like, that intro. We saw promos of them talking and whatnot. But um, it just seems like they're on Beerus' home planet because that, that's what the background setting looks like. Um, but it, it, if that were the case, right, I mean, you have to put two and two together. Obviously, these two don't like each other. It just has to be. Maybe it's a power struggle. Maybe it's the fact that um, Beerus has more supremacy in his universe than how Shampa has in his. So he, he tries to get a little bit of payback. Or maybe Shampa wants to rule both universes. Maybe he wants Beerus out the picture. So maybe that's why he tried to have Frieza, you know, uh, pre prepare you know have that ultimate power so he can challenge goku vegeta and then you know so on and so forth but maybe even beerus if it came to that point um but i don't see that as being too far off because um remember champa champa looks like he's very uh just very devious i mean just looking upon him he looks very cocky he looks very overconfident um and i think he just does not like beerus so maybe 
maybe he went off to help Frieza because maybe he knew about Frieza and he's like, alright, well, you weak as shit. Here, this is what you have to do. If you want to defeat that Saiyan, this is what you have to go through. Do it, and then let's see what happens. So, what are your overall opinions on that? What's weird Did is they like, say, uh, you, you want to go first? Uh, I, I, there's I, not a unit. Oh my god. <laughs> How come there's not a Universe 6 Goku or Vegeta? We don't know that. Exactly, so why isn't he training his own? Why would he? If, if he knows Goku's coming from Beerus' side, why not make his own Goku? Maybe the Goku and Vegeta in that universe are dead. Ooh, this could be Trunks' universe. It could be, remember, I mean... Oh, wow, that and, could and, be, yeah, No, no, yeah. I mean, no, no, you're right, because in Resurrection F, uh, during the promo hypes, uh, he did send a letter out to his mom saying that he knew about everything and he hopes that Dad and Goku defeat him. So, you know, he heard... he Like, Trunks knew about Frieza coming back. He sent a letter to, to Bulma during the Resurrection F story arc, and he was like, you know, I heard about Frieza coming back, I hope Dad and Goku defeat him and stuff like that. So that was really interesting. You guys can go on Dragon Ball Insider and go find that letter. It was so cool to know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't see why Trunks isn't in his own universe out there, possibly the strongest. You don't know that. Uh, but Universe 6 seems like such a such an unparalleled universe, like, because you don't know what's in there. And obviously, if he's in Universe 7 looking for the Wish Orbs, perhaps maybe the Dragon Balls don't exist in his, in his universe. Maybe that's why... He's even there to begin with. Um, but Frieza, Frieza had to have had some sort of influence because there is no way, I believe at least in my own opinion, I don't believe that Frieza was able to become as strong as he was without some sort of help or some sort of influence, man. I mean, that even goes back to our, like, real-life uh, history books. I mean, there's no way the Egyptians and, and, you know, the Aztecs and the Mayans were able to build these pyramids and, you know, construct all these things without some sort of help. Conspiracy theory! I mean, we don't know of that, but again, that just goes back to Frieza. Uh, well, we I don't I, know. I, I can see what you're saying, because, like, this, the whole god level was a plateau not even thinkable from anyone until Beerus showed his face. And Frieza so. was actually able to compete with that. I mean, for, for anybody out there who's questioning this, please, please, just go watch Resurrection F, right? We, we Goku specifically said he, you know, he learned how to, you know, tap into the powers of the Super Saiyan God, and he mixed that in with Super Saiyan, and then therefore, boom, he had what he had. And Frieza was able to compete with that. So whether Goku was a pure god or whether he tapped into that power or whatever, the point being here is that Frieza was able to match up to that. How? How? In four months? There's no amount of push-ups or sit-ups this guy could have done in order to reach that plateau. So I I feel as if someone like Shampa helped him out because there is no there is no other alternative here. I mean, what did Frieza do here? I mean, I could be wrong. I, I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know, I, I just think that Shampa had had to have had some sort of little eeny teeny weeny tiny little bit influence on Frieza. So um, I, I don't know, like, what, what, do you, what do you guys make of this? Because just four months of training to become stronger than any other, you know, entity out there, it's just too far-fetched, man. Well, I think you're right there. But another thing, going back to the thing with Trunks' universe, do you think Trunks is going to get featured in Dragon Ball Super or in another movie? I don't I see why not. Back. I hope he comes back. I, I mean, he's, been, he's being name-dropped. He's been name-dropped multiple times. And on top of that, the fact that, they're, that he sent the letter, if that's true... And, and he's become such a big character now. He's been a fan favorite. He even became Time Patroller Trunks. Because but then, no one but then again, he comes back. What do you do with him? There could be like a, a warning saying another warning, and then maybe he got even stronger. Who, who's to say he didn't get? He became he became the strongest in the universe if he survived to send that letter. Well, maybe some maybe his Earth is destroyed in his time because maybe a, a being came along and destroyed it. Majin Buu or Beerus, perhaps. Maybe I I I, I, I can see that. Um, but then again, it's like. If Trunks comes back, he's only going to play secondary to the main characters, Goku, Vegeta, people like that. Unless, of course, somehow we finally get to see a fusion between him and Gohan, even if it's temporary. But but also, remember, if he becomes Time Patroller Trunks, they're also messing with universes and time. Even Whis messed with time at the end of that um thing. And even Jocko was like, dude, you're messing with time. Does somebody want to go tell him that? Yeah. No, I mean, that that's true. He is a, He is a galactic patrolman. He's obligated to tell his superiors what's going on. Um, but then again, Whis is a god. It's like, why why report a god? I mean, to who? To who are you going to report him to? And, 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 and what's the punishment here? It's, there is no punishment. I mean, he could easily do as he pleases, even though it's kind of odd how, you know, there... I mean, there had to have been an influence for a god to change time for Goku and Vegeta to emerge the, the victors. But I'm just saying here, like, I, I believe that there's no way Frieza was able to achieve the power that he achieved. Um, just by simple training. I mean, look at Goku and Vegeta. They've been training for years, and they only got as far as they got with that training. I mean, I understand Frieza's a little different. He's a prodigy. He doesn't have to train, but now he finally has, and he's gotten stronger. But 
it, it's just a little I, I think like I think as if something big is coming and I think Akira Toriyama is definitely playing his cards very well um but all in all I mean as for Shampo like what do you see him doing in all this because it's just he's 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 you know sneaking his way around he's you know trying to do certain things on the low and, and there has to be some sort of reason behind that so like what do you think that is like what are his true motives here I don't know, but his face always looks very confident and cocky, so maybe he has the upper hand on Beerus. Who knows? Maybe I, he's trying to dethrone Beerus, get rid of Beerus, and take over both universes. That's probably the main... That, that, that that, that's, that's, that's a goal. Yeah, that's a goal. That could be, and they could result in fighting, which would I think would be very cool because, I mean, I think they come from the same cloth. Like, they're both cut from the same cloth. They obviously are, you know, very uh, very similar in, in physical stature. We don't know how, you know, they fare up in strength, but... Um, I think that they are one and the same, and I think that those two are definitely going to have a lot of, uh, you know, chemistry when they when they link up against each other. So, um, I don't know. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this. Do you guys think Shampa helped freeze a train? Um, how do you think, you know, Shampa had any sort of influence on Universe 7 uh, to where he either wants to dethrone Beerus or he wants to take over or, or simply he just wants to destroy stuff and leave? Uh, let us know what you guys think down below. Once again, thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed the, the discussion video, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more. Become a god, and we'll be seeing you all in the next discussion update, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Peace.